Hi friends, welcome back to Catalan. This is Engineer Kahil Mar, and today we'll model this uh, uh, windshield in solid works. This would be practice exercise 27 of this playlist, and uh, I will provide its file in the description link. And it will be uh, much fun when we are dealing with uh, surfaces. Okay, uh, so let's say if I can uh, show you from section view because we have two curves. Uh, one curve uh, is on the top side and one curve in the uh, side of this windshield. Uh, it is better to use uh, a section view so that I can show you. As you can see that we have one curve here and we, uh, we could also use second section. Okay, so now you can see that uh, we have one curve here and we have one curve here. Uh, so let's make this windshield and this will be a very good exercise for beginners uh, and it will be a very good exercise for surfacing as well. So uh, let's go to your SOLIDWORKS view. Uh, just uh, double click it and now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. So first of all as usual I will change my background to paint white and I will set my units to NMGS which are already selected. So let's make the top profile first. So let's go to your top plane, select the sketch and do normal. Okay, uh, let's make a three point arc. So let's make one arc here. Okay, I will select its midpoint and I will select this origin, hold control key, and I will give them a relation called coincident. Okay, now you can see that these points are not in one line. So I will select this point, I will select this point, and I will make them horizontal so that both points will lie in the same way. Okay. Uh, let's make uh, one dimension here. Let's say this dimension is 200 millimeters, and let's say this arc is uh, 700. Okay, uh, and now you can see that the color of the sketch is turned into black, which means it is fully defined. As you can see here as well, the sketch is fully defined. Uh, make sure to use uh, uh, all fully defined sketches when you are uh, uh, when you are sketching or modeling anything in SolidWorks, so it will not create uh, uh, any error. Just exit this sketch. Uh, this is our uh, top profile, and now I will make my side profile in the let's say light plane. So select light plane, sketch, and you know. Uh, now I will create my second curve in the right plane. So let's go to the curve and the three point R, and let's say I will make one R here. Okay. So I will select this point, I will select this point, and I will make them vertical. And uh, similarly, I will select its center point, I will select this origin, and I will make them coincident. Uh, it is still underdefined, so let's go to a smart dimension. Let's say this dimension is uh, 120, and let's say this curve is 500 millimeters. And now you can see that uh, this curve is also fully defined, so exit the sketch, and uh, we are ready with our curves. Uh, let's go to your surfaces. Uh, if you don't find this option surfaces, just right click here and go to here tabs and you will find this uh, all these options. So let's say my surfaces option is already checked. Okay, so let's go to here uh, boundary surface and uh, uh, here we have two options direction 1 and direction 2. In the first direction I will use let's say this curve and in the second direction I will use this curve. Uh, well, in actual practice, uh, if you are dealing with, uh, uh, let's say, these kind of surfaces, so you have to create uh, uh, multiple curves uh, so that you could get uh, a much smooth transition. Okay. So let's say in the direction one, I will use let's say this uh, this one, this curve, and in the second direction, I will use this curve. Uh, and here we have uh, these options to control these curves. Uh, Direction to vector, normal to profile, and uh, let's say uh, we can control this uh, tangent influence in the percentage, but I will leave all things as it is. Uh, you can explore these things uh, below. And now you can see that my boundary surface is created. Okay, uh, let's go to here front plane, uh, select the sketch. View normal. Uh, if you don't find this option, view normal. So just go to here and you can see this option. Uh, 
and the shortcut is control plus 8. Okay. Uh, now I will draw its front profile of the glass windshield. So first I will draw a center rectangle which uh, uh, which will be construction geometry. I will select this line, I will select this line, this line and this line and this would be construction. Okay. Yeah, it is fully defined because uh, these lines are uh, collinear with the uh, geometry. Okay. Uh, let's make uh, uh, three curves. Let's say one curve is uh, here, and uh, let's say one R is here, and one very small R here. Okay. Uh, let's select its center point, and I will coincide it with this center. At this point, at this point, and make them horizontal. Similarly, this point and this point vertical, and its center point is coincident with this center point. And now, I will apply the necessary dimensions. So let's go to a smart dimension, and let's say this dimension is 500. Okay. Let's say this dimension is 250. Uh, and now you notice one thing that uh, this curve is fully defined except uh, these starting and ending points. So that I can still drag this curve. And similarly for this curve. So I will drag this curve up to maybe here. And I will drag this curve to here. Okay. Now I will select this, uh, this curve and this curve and make them tangent. Similarly, this curve and this curve and make them tangent. Also, uh, this point and this point is coincident, and this point and this point is coincident. Uh, it is still underdefined, so I'll go to a small dimension and I will change its dimension to ten. Uh, as you can see, that the color of these three arcs are black, which means that these arcs are fully defined. Uh, so uh, I will mirror this arc and this uh, small arc onto here, and I will uh, uh, mirror this arc and this uh, small arc onto here. So first I will drag this dimension to here. Okay. Now I will draw two construction lines. One construction line uh, let's say here and let's say one construction line the vertical side. So let's go to the mirror entities. Entities to mirror is let's say this one. Mirror about this one and select okay. Uh, similarly, I will mirror these profiles as well. So let's go to your mirror entities. I will select this small curve, this curve, and this curve, and mirror about is this one. And select two. So you can see that we have a fully defined sketch. So I will exit this sketch, and now I will trim this uh, uh, surface using this sketch. So uh, for this, I will go to here. Uh, uh, trim surface and the trim tool is this one okay and surfaces to remove uh, not this one but these four surfaces and select okay so our uh, surface is ready and uh, uh, as you can see that we have only one surface body uh, if we have multiple surface bodies so our first option would be to knit or to combine all surfaces to make one uh, surface uh, it is already one surface. Next task is to uh, add thickness uh, to make it a solid body. So let's go to the thicken command. So first I will select this surface. Here we have three options. Thickness from uh, both sides, thickness from only left side or thickness from only right side. So I will choose this option, thickness from both sides. Thickness uh, is 2 mm and select OK. And now you can see that your surface body is converted into solid body using thicken command. So next is uh, uh, I will create another uh, sketch and uh, uh, basically I will use this sketch. So I will show this sketch and uh, let's go to your front plane, sketch, view normal and uh, let's use this sketch. So let's go to your offset and I will select this sketch.
okay uh, reverse direction and 10 mm and it's right okay and now you can see that we have very sharp uh, edges here so i will use fillet command and i will make a fillet of let's say 10 And select OK. Sorry, but okay. it's uncheck and select OK. Uh, now I will use a split command. Uh, first, I will hide this sketch. I'll go to the curves, split line. I will select uh, this option projection. I will select this sketch. And I will select this face. And also, I will select this back face. And select OK. So now you can see that we have created split surfaces. Uh, now I will use fillet command. So let's go to here fillet. As you can see that these edges are very sharp. So let's apply fillet command here. Fillet of 1 mm. And I will select this edge. Uh, and I will select this edge. Okay. You can see that whole uh, edge is selected. Uh, now I will go to here uh, appearances. Uh, first I will apply this option the graphics and also let's say perspective and MP inclusion. Okay. So let's go to here uh, appearance and under appearance let's go to here class and let's go to here let's say thick class and I will apply this option here thick class. Okay. Uh, now I will apply some different color onto this uh, surface. So select this one, also fillet, and on the back side of this uh, class. Okay. Uh, I will change its color to black. That's why I have created a split surface. Select this option, black, and select OK. And now you can see that your class is ready. Uh, let's go to here section. And uh, let's say I will apply a section on the right plane and also second section in the let's say top plane. And now you can see that we have two curves, one curve here and one curve here. So it is a very uh, a good exercise for beginners, especially for uh, surfacing. Uh, lastly, I will show you some render that uh, I have created in uh, Keyshot. Now, this is the Keyshot uh, file. And uh, uh, let's go to the render. And here you can see that I have rendered this uh, uh, class windshield in Keyshot. Then you will find this uh, Keyshot file along with SolidWorks file here. Okay, I have already uh, uploaded this file. So you can download it from there and you can practice. As you can see that I have uploaded uh, some very good tutorials especially for beginners and uh, uh, if you have uh, uh, any difficulty or any problem regarding any of this uh, uh, tutorial so you can ask in comment section. Uh, I, will, I will try to answer uh, each and every query. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting comments. Thank you.